This is everything you need to know about tomorrow's update. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are confused by the title and even this tweet right here. Typically, updates are done on Tuesday or Friday, but tomorrow we are officially getting the V31.00 update or beginning season four for Battle Royale. Because this update seems to be so large, it appears as though they're going to start the update tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, tomorrow's not the flashiest update that we've ever received but we are getting the feature sleep until morning, which we'll break down later in this video, but we're also going to get battle bus quests that'll actually give us something to do. And then along with those quests, a reward being a free decor bundle for our bus stations. Now very obviously the Clombo update has officially been delayed. Now, if you're somebody that was over preparing for Clombo like me, and now you have all of this butter cake that you made that doesn't do anything anymore and isn't doing anything anytime soon, you could pretty much put that to rest at least until the first week of September. Using all of your animals and trying to make sure that they're giving you the ingredients almost does nothing at this point. I would definitely work on putting that to rest at least for a little bit of time. Now, when it comes to the roadmap, it still has been 100% accurate up until this point when it comes to the Lego Fortnite season. Even when it comes to Dr. Doom being announced for Battle Royale, it predicted that months and months in advance. We should also get confirmation that Carol G will be coming on Friday or tomorrow's update as well and Metallica, Pirates of the Caribbean, Among Us, Billie Eilish and all of the racing themes have all been accurately picked out. So we know that Clombo is coming, it just becomes a matter of when. Now the next confirmed update dates are going to be on September 4th and then again on September 17th. So if any of you guys are looking for brand new content, those are likely going to be the days that we receive them. Typically on point 10 updates is when we receive the bigger amounts of content content, so I could definitely see them pushing Clombo back about a month and releasing him on September 4th. Now, when it comes to the sleeping update, actually the way that this is going to work is very similar to Minecraft. If you have a bed near you, you can go to sleep in it when it's nighttime, and when you wake up, it'll actually be the daytime. There may be a small cutscene, but that's pretty much the extent of that update. Now, not only is this great for content creators now that it's going to constantly be bright out for us during our videos, but it's also great for you guys as well. Get used to carrying a bed along with you or enough wood to carry a bed. That way, when you're exploring at nighttime, you could place down a bed wherever you're at and instantly turn it into daytime. Now, I could obviously be wrong about this, but when it comes to the new decor item and quests that are going to be coming into the game, I'm sure they're going to be exactly like how they were when it came to the Star Wars stuff, which gave you different type of jobs or objectives to complete that had to do with Star Wars, and then you earn Star Wars decor items. Because these decor items have to do with the bus stations, I definitely think that these are going to be something that all of you guys should go out and find. It is very likely that Epic is going to make us have a certain amount of these, find a certain amount of these, use a certain amount of these, and then also thank the bus driver a few times as well. Because if the quests have to do with this type of update, then I'm sure we're going to have to do things from this update in order to finish the quest. So what I recommend doing is going out and building some sort of aircraft and then floating or flying around and try to find as many of these rift stations as you can. Now, if you guys missed out on the dupe glitch, then comes to these quests, you might be a little bit behind and may have to put in a little bit more work, which isn't terrible at the end of the day, because that means at least you have a reason to play. But if you guys missed out on the dupe glitch, it's a great time right now to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel with notifications on, not only so that you get notified when a video goes up with any new news releasing in the game, but also for big glitches like that, you wanna make sure that you're as early as possible. I've talked about this in a few videos, but when it comes to having fun on LEGO Fortnite, I think that every single one of us in the community needs to band together and make sure that we let Epic know know what needs to stay in the game or what actually needs to be removed. Typically, we talk about things that need to be fixed, such as glitches and bugs. But whenever we have something fun in the game, it never seems like we're really talking about keeping those things in the game. So I've expressed a ton of feedback over on Twitter and even inside of their Discord to let them know the glitches that I think or the bugs that I think need to stay inside of this game, like when it has to do with these brand new toys. And if you guys feel the exact same way, I definitely urge every Every single one of you guys watching to also give them feedback like that because if they don't hear positives that have to do with the game they're just going to remove them if they think that it's a bug or wasn't released properly now i'm sure we're getting a ton of bug fixes here as well one of the most common ones that is going on right now has to do with your animals not coming out of their barns where some of your cows chickens sheep or pigs sit inside of their barns permanently whether you destroy and add them in here or not they just sit inside of there they don't roam around your area anymore which 
isn't the worst thing in the world because that's less poop in your world, but when it comes to actually petting them or trying to use them and drop things in front of them, that no longer works. And I'm sure that every single one of you guys have driven your vehicle or tried to fly a vehicle and see that you go into some really weird third person mode where you're actually outside of the vehicle, under the vehicle, under the water, under the world, above the world. You're in so many different areas and I'm sure that Epic is going to work on a fix for this as well. Now, if I may, I just wanna rant a little bit about some positives and negatives that have to do with this update while I absolutely destroy the crops inside of my world and continue to grow out this garden area. When it comes to this update, a positive that has to do with it is this may not be the flashiest of updates, but the positive is that we are getting updates. We just went three months with nothing. And I understand it's almost the bare minimum to have updates added onto our game, but the positive is that we're not left in the dust. We're not forgotten about. And back to back updates, they have given us something that's actually usable inside of the game. Not to mention that every single time we get updates like this, there's always little hidden secrets, tweaks, and changes that are made as well. So just because this update doesn't look flashy right now, and there was only three major things that were mentioned, when it comes to this update, there could be so much more actually added. Now, when it comes to the negatives, I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree with what I'm going to say right here as well. There's not much content that's being added into the game over the last few updates. When it comes to getting the brand new rift stations those are awesome because now we could pretty much rift to any new area of the map and build a brand new base there and start a brand new village there kind of with almost a head start because we have this rift station to get us back and forth extremely extremely quick which makes the game so much better but when it comes to overall content if you're somebody that's playing on a survival world that already has a bunch of bases that has 30 out of 30 villager counts has all of the buildings vehicles or anything else that they want, there's not much that's new that's being added into the game that's going to help you, which is why to me, Klamba was very important to get added into the game. Now, unfortunately, there's not much we can do about Klambo not being added, but we can at least look into the future and know that that is coming at some point. It just unfortunately has been delayed. Hopefully what happens is when we get the Klambo update, they don't push back all of the other updates and we get all of them around the same time. September, October, November and December could be huge months for us when it comes to getting the Halloween update or the Dark Forest update, Clombo, a Christmas update, and so much more. So I hope that the positives are the future of this game is very bright and the negatives are that we just didn't get the content just yet. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of tomorrow's update. And as always, guys, this was Crafty and I'm out. Peace. YouTube thinks that you're going to like either one of these videos above. So click on one of them and let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Oh, and don't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already.